What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to print stems out of Logic. Um, I get this question a lot. Some of my clients send me some work and the verses are all out of place and the choruses are off and it's just so hard to drag and drop everything. Kind of slows down the mixing and mastering process. So that stuff is all stuff you need to have done before sending the session. Um, just for your knowledge, people and engineers are going to have a lot easier time with you if you do that. So if you're working in Logic, it's very easy to do this, super easy. So I got my session right here. Um, say I want all the vo stems isolated separately. Well, instead of going one by one and exporting them, bouncing them, um, in Logic you could just go to File, Export, and then um, All Tracks as Audio Files, or what is that, Shift-Command-E, I believe. So you click that. And then you make a new folder somewhere. Uh, let's just do it for the desktop for now. Make a new folder and we'll call it um, stems. Create, simple enough. We want WAV files for best quality. Bypass effect plugin. Now, normally, I would ask that you send your stuff with the effects on them just because I like to get as close as I can. Um, saves a little bit of time but if the engineer does ask for the plugins to be turned off you just click that right there and then if you want the automation that you have in there to follow you hit that as well and yeah so then we hit save now as you can see it goes pretty quick compared to like bouncing one by one it gets tedious Okay, so now let's go to our desktop. As you can see, the stems folder is right there, and all of our files are in there beautifully. So now, all you have to do is compress this folder right here, or zip it up, whatever, however, whatever term you want, and then you just gotta send me this zip folder, or send your engineer that zip folder, and they're gonna have all your stems all in time, all perfect, all ready to go, so he doesn't gotta slow down and, you know, try and match things and, um, maybe be a millisecond off you know you don't really want to chance anything you want your music to be all perfect so if we go ahead and drag these in we can kind of test the theory and beautiful look at that everything's in time chorus is right here verses right here ad libs are all in time beats all in time looks exactly like your original logic session so now I can take these into Pro Tools and you know really do everything I can on the song instead of like I keep saying it but it's like one of the biggest problems I have where somebody will send me an ad lib or a vocal and they'll start right here at the beginning of the song and I'm like okay now I gotta drag and drop these you know it's just it's not fun it's not a fun gig so save your engineer some time save yourself some time um, really easy steps, you know, repeat the video if you need to learn how to do it, but, uh, thanks for watching, press like and subscribe, and thank you, goodbye. <laughs>